Ohio's Task Force One has touched down in South Florida to help search and rescue teams dig through what remains of the partial condo collapse. Right now, there are 22 confirmed dead with 126 still missing. Marissa Sines sat down tonight with some of those local firefighters on the team just hours before they began their mission. As the Miami condo collapse scene continues to unfold, the search is still long from over. Tonight, some of Greater Cleveland's very own will join the effort. Uh, last night, we got into Miami just after 8, 8 to 9 somewhere. It's just over 24 hours of, you know, driving and, uh, you know. These four firefighters from Euclid, Bedford, Green, and New Franklin are part of the 81 crew members that make up Ohio's Task Force 1. Everybody's ready to go. Uh, we've been on alerts now for about a week. We spoke with Bedford firefighter Brian Harding one week ago as he prepped his bags waiting for the call. Tonight, he's gearing up to begin search and rescue at midnight. We've been getting some information trickling in from some other teams that have been working. It's anything from general debris removal, um, you know, digging through the pile by hand uh, in some areas, the concrete. Um, Slabs are in the way. The area is full of rescue teams and summer travelers, which is why they'll be lodging on an old cruise ship. We don't. We hope not to be in a much. We're gonna be out there helping uh, people. So the team telling me a lot of work has already been done, with plenty of hands on deck. It seems like Florida has quite a bit of resources already there at the site. But the mood is is really eager to get out, get, get to get to work. But they're ready to step in lending a heavy helping hand. Just itching to get down here and, and help out. That's what we do, you know, as firemen day to day basis. And that's what we're on this team for. So. Yeah, their deployments are typically two weeks, but depending on the need, they could be out there longer this time. They also tell me that they're keeping an eye on those storms headed for the East Coast. And while they are a hurricane rescue team, their main focus this go around is the building collapse. Russ. Okay, Marissa Science in the newsroom. Thank you.